Zero two infinity, OII infinity, sometimes rendered as zero two infinity, is a private Spanish company developing high-altitude balloons to provide access to near space and low Earth orbit using a balloon-borne pod and a balloon-borne launcher. The company was founded in 2009 by aerospace engineer Jose Mariano Lopez Erdels, the current CEO. It is headquartered in Barbera del Val, Barcelona, Spain. Zero Two Infinity has been testing high-altitude balloons and launching small payloads to high altitudes for scientific institutions and commercial firms for testing elements above most of the Earth's atmosphere. Their launch system has a significantly lower impact on the environment, an advantage over conventional systems. The company's pod named Balloon may also be used for tourism. As of late 2016, its CEO had suggested that commercial flights could take place as early as 2019. Topic: <laughs> Products. It currently has 3 lines of business. Blowstar, a balloon-borne launcher for carrying payloads such as small, micro, and nanosatellites to orbit based on Rockhorn technology. Balloon, a balloon-borne zero-emission craft for launching crewed vehicles to near space for scientific research, educational and also space tourism purposes. Elevate, a service provided to fly payloads to near space for science, communications, satellite testing, meteorology and marketing purposes. Blowstar. Blowstar is a launch vehicle currently in development, intended to compete in the small satellite launch market. It is based on the Rockhorn concept. The first stage of the ascent is conducted by the use of a high altitude balloon up to 30 km, 19 miles, where the rocket platform is ignited and detached from the balloon to insert the payload into orbit. The design is intended to be capable of delivering a 140 kg payload to a 200 km low Earth orbit, or a 75 kg payload to a 600 km sun-synchronous orbit. <laughs> design The launch vehicle is composed of a set of liquid fuel engines clustered as concentric toroids attached to the central payload. Each toroid works as a stage during the rocket climb once it has been ignited from around 30 km above ground level. The stages are progressively separated of the vehicle, similarly to conventional satellite launch using a rocket with parallel staging. The design includes a total of 13 engines split across three stages, all using methyl arx liquid methane and liquid oxygen fuel. The first, outermost stage is a toroid with six TD2 engines each producing 15 kN of thrust, the second stage is a smaller toroid with six smaller TD1 engines each producing 2 kN of thrust, the third stage is positioned at the center of the toroids with a single TD1 engine. By using propellant crossfeed, all available engines will fire simultaneously but only the fuel tank in the outermost stage will be depleted at a time, increasing performance. As the engines will only ever fire at very high altitude, all 13 will be optimized to produce maximum thrust in vacuum or near vacuum conditions, similar to the upper stage engines of conventional rockets. Due to their high altitude only use, turbopumps have been emitted from the engine design, substantially reducing cost and complexity. The combustion chambers for the TD-1 engines are 3D printed by the Andalusian Foundation for Aerospace Development. The use of several toroid-shaped stages results in an increased standoff distance to the sonic line during atmospheric entry, reducing the possibility of damaging the stages because of the high temperatures reached. Another promoted advantage is the capability to launch satellites with no need of folding them, as a flat-shaped vehicle is capable of fitting panel-deployed satellites right from the launch site, the balloon components will be landed and potentially reused. According to Lopez Erdels, the Blowstar rocket launch vehicle has been designed to be reusable, technically, but not as part of the business plan. The engines burn methane and oxygen for many reasons, but one is that it creates less soot and leaves the engines reusable. 
Also, the shape of a torus has been selected to reduce the aero heating on re entry. The optimal shape in vacuum is similar to the optimal shape for re entry. Blunt. The optimal shape for ascent is very different. Slender. Blowstar has been designed from its ignition taking into account the way back down, it's easier to do if the way up is taken care of by the balloon. Recovery will be attempted, however, and consideration has been given for an eventual system by which the first stage will descent top-down, using a portion of its dorsal fairing as an ablative heat shield, and slow to be caught in a sea-based net. <laughs> <laughs> development history Development of Blowstar began in 2013. The first flight test was successfully conducted in March 2017, in which a less than half-scale prototype of the upper two stages was carried to 25 km altitude by balloon, separated, made a short burn using a small solid motor, and then was recovered intact by parachute. According to the payload user's guide, phase 2 of development will follow, which will involve suborbital flights of Nanoblostar a third stage from a production Blostar with a 75 kg payload to 180 km altitude. At that time of the 2017 test flight, the first commercial launch was projected for 2019. However, Lopez Erdels subsequently noted this date could potentially slip as 0 2 Infinity focused on its revenue generating Elevate product line. Bloon Bloon is a zero-emission craft in development, which consists of a high-altitude balloon-borne capsule to perform manned flights to near space and a steerable parachute system for returning autonomously to Earth. It also refers to the balloon-borne craft prototype range of the same company, Bloon, Mini-Bloon, Microbloon and Nanobloon which are differentiated among them by their size, considering that only a helium balloon is responsible for lifting the load above most of the atmosphere, it is considered a zero-emission craft. With this technology, Bloon would carry up to four passengers and two pilots six total crew to an altitude as high as 36 km 22 miles, 118,110 feet. The vehicle would take from 1.5 to 2 hours to reach maximum altitude, and then stay there for up to 2 hours, with a final descent by steerable parachute after releasing the balloon, using airbags to smooth the landing. Elevate Elevate is a service provided to lift payloads to near space on a stratospheric balloon platform for purposes such as testing of components of spacecraft, drop tests, celestial observation or publicity. The useful load on a stratospheric zero-pressure balloon can range from several kilograms to over 5,000 kilograms and the target altitude varies between 20 and 42 kilometers. The duration at altitude or float can be extended from hours to several days or even weeks depending on the launch location. Additional solutions such as solar arrays, battery power or advanced return options such as a guided parafoil as opposed to a traditional parachute and tailor-made solutions to customer requirements are also offered as part of the Elevate service. Topic: Flights Zero Two Infinity reports that it has conducted over 30 flights as of 2016. The most important flights for Bloon are listed below. The company also considered performing another near space flight to generate a 360 degree footage of the solar eclipse of March 20, 2015. On March 1, 2017, Zero Two Infinity ignited its first rocket from near space, a Blowstar prototype. The flight took place at the Inter Instituto Nacional de Tecnia Aerospatial facilities in El Arena Silo, Huelva. The balloon that took Blowstar to 25 km was launched from a boat in the Gulf of Cadiz. At 25 km the ignition of the rocket took place. The goals of the mission were, I validation of the telemetry systems in space conditions, E controlled ignition, E stabilization of the rocket, IV monitoring of the launch sequence, V parachute deployment, and finally, VI sea recovery. 
All these goals were achieved in full. Topic. See also. Worldview Enterprises, another near-space balloon tourism company.